Hello there programmers and welcome to another episode in our Flask tutorial series. I am Chris Franklin. Okay, today we're going to pick off from pick up right where we left off uh, in the last tutorial series. Um, we're starting with an already made uh, project. I will run through this real quick if you haven't already been following along uh, so that you can see the basic layout. But this is a pretty standard uh, Flask template at this point. So we're going to use our main Flask file. We have two routes in it, home and user. Okay. We have our main function and we set up our Flask app. I do have a style sheet that I'm loading in just to show you how to load static files. Um, and we have an image being loaded in as well as I have templates. I have a base template that's being used to wrap all of the other pages and an index and user template. Okay, uh, these are the actual files. We load the, the title and content blocks in each of these. Okay, so there's nothing special here. If you need to hop in, uh, take out, uh, check out these projects, uh, get uh, a basic page set up uh, with an index and user page. Okay, if you need a little bit of time, why don't you hop back to one of the previous uh, tutorials on HTML template inheritance, and that will give you the base of everything you need to continue with this project. Okay, all the disclaimers are out of the way, so let's jump right in. Uh, today's topic, what we're going to talk about is taking this basic project and growing it. So we're going to be working um, with more files. We're going to be expanding the size of our project as we add more pages. This layout starts to get a little complicated to deal with. It starts to get hard to find things. So what we're going to look at doing is using blueprints to help us split the project up into smaller pieces that are more manageable. And in fact, we can even take an entire blueprint folder and drop it into another project and use it somewhere else pretty easily. Okay, so uh, to do this, what we're going to do is I'm going to replace the um, in, the index route here. Okay, the home. I'm going to replace this. I'm going to get rid of this entirely, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to create another route. So to do that, what I do is in my main pro my main file right next to main.py, I'm going to add a, a home.py. Okay, we're going to create a new home page, and we're going to give it a home here. And then inside of home.py, all I'm going to do is say from flask import, and we're going to take a blueprint and a render template. Those are the only two things we really need. Then I'm going to set up the name of this similar to what we do at the top level on uh, with the flask app. We give it app as the name here. We're going to give it home uh, and then we're going to set up our blueprint and we have to pass in a name for this object. And um, this should be the same as the file name and, or the module name and the actual um, uh, uh, the home object that we're setting up here uh, just to make things easier. And then we're going to pass in the name. What this is doing is it's passing in the name of the module that's being loaded, in this case, home.py. Okay. Uh, now let's go ahead and set up our route. So we're going to use home instead of uh, at app. So we're going to go at home.route. And um, let's set up two routes on the same path here at home dot route. So we're going to say dot slash home or slash. Uh, and then we're going to define our home page. Now it's important here that you make uh, this function definition different from the name of this object. Otherwise, you're going to shadow that object. So I know that back in our main dot pi, we called it home. But here we're going to call it home underscore page. Okay. Otherwise, things will break. Okay, return render template, and we're going to return index.html. Okay, exactly the same code that we had uh, up in our top level in main.py, exactly the same thing. The only difference is instead of doing at app, we're doing at home, which is a blueprint now. Okay, so pretty straightforward, pretty easy to see. Um, now, what we can do is we can take and completely delete this block here. Okay. Let's get rid of that. And up here on and on the main.py, we're going to do a couple things. We're going to do from uh, home import home. Okay. So this what this is doing is saying from home.py, we're going to import the object home. Okay. This is our this is our actual blueprint. Then here on our app, we're going to say app. Um, 
Oh, my finger. App dot uh, register blueprint, and inside of this blueprint, we're going to pass in home. Okay, and that's all that's required here. So if we hit play now, we'll see everything spins up as we expect it to. Okay, over here, we're going to go ahead and open this page, and you can see this is our home page that we've created before. Okay, we have our image, we have this is home page, this is shared header, and our static files are being loaded properly because our text is red and big and all capital letters. Okay, so this is all already defined. We can see that we're loading everything that we expect, the color, the font size, all of that. So everything looks great. It looks like it should look, and we're using this new um, blueprint to do this. Okay. Now, let's look at, let's say we're doing the user route, okay? So here, we're probably going to have more complicated than just slash user. We might have slash user as the, as the base that lists all of our active users that you can see, and maybe slash user slash ID for looking up a specific user, okay? Let's say we're building a basic CRUD app, uh, and that's what we want to do, okay? So if we're doing that, what we're going to do um, is we're going to want to organize this instead of a single file like home.py, we're going to want to organize this into a module. And then we're going to want to embed this uh, blueprint route under slash user. Okay. So the way we can do that is we can go up here and create at our, on, on our main project, we can create a new directory and we're going to call this users. Okay. And so our users directory is going to contain two files in it for now. Uh, we can create more as we create more routes. Um, but for now, we're going to create a, two new Python files. The first we're going to create is underscore underscore init. Okay. Underscore underscore init dot uh, underscore underscore or double under init as, as it's called dot pi. This file is empty. Okay. This is how we define uh, modules inside of Python. Now, in newer Pythons, you can actually not put this file in here, but most people still do it anyway because it's just the way that it's always been done. This is how we tell Python this is a module directory instead of a module file. Okay. Now we can take and create another file under here, and we're just going to call this one user.py. Okay. No, no S, we're just going to do user. Uh, now, user.py is going to be very similar to what we did before. So we're going to say from flask import. Uh, blueprint and render template and then we're gonna say user as the top level object here and now we're gonna do things a little differently because we're inside of a subdirectory we need to tell um, this project how to find the blueprint and the static okay so we're gonna create user as our top level uh, as our name and we're gonna give it the name of the module that we're that we're loading okay and then we're going to set static folder equals to static. Okay. We're going to just tell it that's the name of the folder that has all the static uh, assets in it. And then we're going to do the same thing for template folder. Say template folder is equal to templates. Okay. And so that, what that does is that, that tells it where to find all of the files that we're going to be referencing from here on. Okay. Now we can create a new root and we're going to do things a little differently here. We're going to create another slash. Okay. This is going to be the base route of this file. And then we can define our um, user page. And we can do this by returning render template on user.html. Okay. Now, this is um, a base route. Okay. And we just defined up here in home, we defined a base route, right? Are they going to impact each other? Are they going to interfere with each other? No, because now what we're going to do is up here at the top of the main.py, we're back in here. I'm going to say from users.user, so from folders.file, import user, okay? And now to register this blueprint, I am going to say app.registerBlueprint, and I am going to pass in user, which is that top level, but I'm also going to define a URL prefix. Okay. What this is going to allow me to do is say everything that happens under, uh, if we start with a slash user, we're going to load this blueprint. Okay. 
<clears throat> excuse me. So now what we can do is I can come over here and I can say load up, <coughs> excuse me, slash user. And that's it. We've loaded up slash user slash, which is slash user slash, where we're loading user.html, which as we can see is just extending based on HTML, setting the title as user, and setting the block content to a single header tag. And then our shared header is being set from our base.html, as is our uh, CSS styles. So we get the red uh, text, large, and all capitals. That's it. That's how you break projects uh, in Flask into smaller and smaller pieces. So we can also set our in our template directory, similar to what we did with our images here, as under a subdirectory, we can set templates. So we can say templates slash, let's say we wanted to make this um, all of our users. Um, so we could move user.html into here. We can create other uh, files under here and reference them all with slash user. Uh, slash users slash user.html or slash users slash admin.html, whatever other pages we want to do. And we can start to get more and more complicated as we grow this project larger and larger. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial series. We're going to dive even deeper into the Flask world and start to see how to use this uh, in a more complicated, larger end project type of way. I'll see you then.